Welcome to another edition of My Opinion here on My Opinion TV. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell. So as soon as a video is released, you'll be one of the first to be notified. And this morning I want to talk about an incident that happened in St. Thomas. And it's the first killing in St. Thomas for the new year, 2021. And a man identified as Kemar Bailey, otherwise called K9. And Kempo of Duane Pen in the community. And the police are reporting that at about 12.30 a.m. Um, Bailey heard noise outside. And by the time he went to go and check, he was attacked and he was, he was killed. Residents say gunshots rang out. And then when they looked, they saw his house on fire. Now, after they called the police, the police called the fire brigade and at the end of the day, cooling down activities were carried out and the four-bedroom house was totally destroyed. Bailey's body was later found lying in the yard with gunshot wounds. The police reportedly um, found two spent shells at the scene. Now, in this situation, you want to look at it and how what this man could have done so that you do they didn't only take his life but they make sure destroy this property we don't know we can't say what um if kemar bailey is a law-abiding citizen upstanding citizen we haven't seen anything being reported we haven't seen any community members saying anything but clearly based on what happened the hoodlums went for him and went for his property too because he tried to escape he was killed and then they destroyed the four bedroom dwelling house that he was living in but i mean it's even though it's a first killing in saint thomas it's a gruesome one and we hope the police can find the perpetrators of this heinous crime and bring them to justice but at the end of the day, we also want to know what could Kemar Bailey have done these persons or what could Kemar Bailey have done to warrant all of this. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. No person, we don't expect persons to take persons' lives. And crime is a big problem in Jamaica. And we take time to highlight these situations so that the relevant authorities can put systems in place to try and curtail or reduce this crime monster because at the end of the day you have persons overseas all across the diaspora who would like to after working hard in in the cold and under stressful condition would want to come back to jamaica and retire in peace but at the end of the day when you when you look at it from where from overseas and these persons have always reached out to me and say when they look at the crime issue from overseas it just seems worse than normal and it drives fear into their heart and what is so troubling is that normally some of these communities are, have never experienced um, criminal activities but right now no community in Jamaica is exempted every community has had its fair share of issues but again we hope that the police will get to it and as i said 2020 for me was the year for the jamaica constabulary force and i think um they have done a marvelous job in the year 2020 and i expect them to continue that trend into the year 2021 and at some point we will hear that they have arrested or they have charged somebody for this type of killing. But until then, we sit and wait with waited, bated breath to hear what will happen. But nevertheless, we, anyone in the community who knows something, don't wait until the crime turns up at your door. If you know something, you can confide in a, pol a pastor a police a justice of the peace or somebody let them know what's happening because tell you what if it happens down by tom's house today 
there's a very strong possibility it might happen down by your house very very soon based on what jamaica is experiencing no one seems to be exempted and whatever you know find someone who you can trust and share the information with the police so we can have a crime free country a crime free community so that our kids can live grow and be successful in the land we love and the land we call jamaica but you can let me know what you think in the comment section don't forget to like share subscribe click the notification bell as soon as a video is released you'll be one of the first to be notified until next time take care of yourself take care of your family take care of your kids look out for the kids especially and most of all keep it locked on my opinion tv